Well, this video, I've got yet another big smile on my face because I've bought something that is pretty cool. I always like it when I buy quality stuff. And about a week ago, I saw a video from Stephen Orca, also known as Mr. Denari. Put the link to his channel in the video description and in that video he reviewed a case from XP for the Deus. Well as I own a Deus I thought I might as well have one of those cases and it's just arrived. First impressions are that it's made incredibly well, everything lines up well outside. It's a nice quality plastic, not much weight to it. I haven't opened it up yet but I know what they look like inside because I saw Stephen's video. Got a double lock on the top there. That's pretty impressive. Nice quality foam. It's almost like a little gun case. I used to have one of these when I had a breakdown rifle. Hinge pins look decent. Foam seem to be well set in there. And the profile cutting on the foams is pretty good as well. All in all, first impressions are very good. So, let's get the Deus out and see how it fits in. It's the 9 inch coil. <laughs> Dear me. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to give this a bit of a wash before I put it in that lovely new case. What a mess. Earphones, control box, charger. I think that's it. Right then, what's going to go where? Start with the control box. That looks like the obvious place for it. Can't remember where Stephen put all his things. Some of the bits are obvious. But he had a little bit more gear than me. Yeah, that doesn't fit in very well with the case on. So the case is coming off. Nice tight fit. Nine inch coil in there. It's still got a bit of muck on it, but it's significantly cleaner than it was when I found it under my bed. Oh, that way. 11 inch coil. Yeah, looking at this, there's room for two coils. I don't think you would get the 9, 11 and 13 in. Even if you took this little insert out. You can't take that out, it's glued in. So you've got room for two coils. Handle and stem. That's a lovely fit. Don't think these headphones are going to fit in there. Now when I saw Steven's video, he had a WS4 set of headphones. These are the WS5. These are the thick padded ones. And I picked these because I live up north and it's cold for most of the year. These act as ear warmers. Hopefully they will go in there. <laughs> they half go in there. I'm sure that once this is shut, they'll be fine in there. They're not sticking up any higher than the, the arm guard, so they should be fine there. But I think this case is really designed for the smaller headphones, the ones that you wear on the back, the WS4s. So that leaves the bag that the headphones go in. Stick that in there. And this is the little charger with the three-way splitter so you can charge up. Coil, headphones and control box all at once. That looks like a likely spot. If it doesn't fit in there, I'll put it in there. This 
really is a good place for a probe but I like to keep my probe on my belt with my fines pouch so I can just take it off the back of my seat in the van, put it straight around my waist and get to work. That's a beautiful fit in there. Right, that's all the parts in. Two coils, two stems, we've got the, the main part of the machine, headphones, control box, and really these ones are spare for me. So I've put the bag in there. Um, what could I put in there? Um, 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 um. Could maybe put a GoPro camera in there? I know they're pretty small. I'll try that. Yeah, that's easily going to go in there. Spot on. GoPro goes in there. And these are the mounts for fixing it onto the stem. They can go in there. Managed to fill every hole. Spot on. Yeah. Doesn't feel as if anything's trying to press its way out of there. <laughs> Everything is where it should be. Get in there. And if nothing else, that looks professional, it holds everything in place and my wife is going to be exceptionally pleased that I've got a nice smart briefcase under the bed instead of all these various parts just thrown in. Now the price of this item may be a stumbling block for some people, I think it was 70-75 quid or something, I bought this one from Leisure Promotions, I'll put their link in the video description. 70 odd quid when you're spending 12, 1300 pound on a detector, an extra 75 quid to keep everything in one place clean, tidy, dust free, and to keep the wife happy isn't a lot of extra money to spend. So I don't feel as if I've wasted money buying this. In fact, far from wasting money, buying something which is quality and does exactly what you want it to do is a worthwhile purchase. This is definitely a worthwhile purchase and I'm very pleased with it. Oh, I never thought of this, but I wonder if one of those little compartments is big enough for a cat. I could put you in there, couldn't I? Yeah, stop you destroying the house. Demon cat. Mm hmm, proper demon cat. Please note, I will not be putting the cat in here, just in case anybody thinks I'm going to. So, there you go, quality item, very pleased. 10 out of 10. Marvellous. See you next time. If you've enjoyed this review, please click like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And here's another channel you might want to check out. This guy does some good reviews and he's a lot more... Well, let's just... I don't... There you go. He's a lot more fluent with his language than I am. The amount of edits in here will show you that I just spit things off the top of my head. I never plan anything. So consequently it takes me about two hours to edit even a short video like this one. This guy is much more fluid with his language. Thanks for watching.